Gallinari, 14 and a half. Lonnie Walker, over 16 and a half points. Over 24 and a half PRA. Over three and a half rebounds. The PRA, 24 and a half over for Lonnie Walker is probably my favorite out of all plays tonight because, I mean, he's been hitting his mark with all the guys in that's out tonight for San Antonio. DeMar DeRozan, we all know he may be going for Jordan's Chicago record, but the most, most consecutive games, 35 points or more. 40 and a half PRA for DeMar. Sean Morant going against the Bulls. I think this may be the best game of the night. Uh, most competitive game. So I like Ja Morant over 27 and a half points, over five and a half free throws, over one and a half blocks and steals. De'Aaron Fox failed to meet the mark against the same exact team, Denver, um, his last game. I think he goes over this time and maybe takes a couple more possessions out of uh, some bonus from De'Aaron Fox over 23 and a half points. I like Sabonis over 20 and a half points, 38 and a half PRA, and five and a half assists, and 44 fantasy points over for Sabonis. Will Barton, same game, over 15 and a half P points. Will Barton, same game, over 15 and a half points, over 28 fantasy points. I like the over on Zach Levine for 22 and a half points simply because. I've never seen Zach Levine at 22 and a half points. It's always been over that, like considerably so. Over on 24 and a half PRA for Jaron Jackson. No Levert. So I like the over on 20 and a half PRA for Lori Marketing. He's been going over it, even with those guys in. Also, only game he has in, in the last five games was was when he got injured and over four and a half rebounds we got Bazell for san antonio over 22 and a half pra self-explanatory all those guys are out we got proto out we got murray out we got collins out and we got johnson out he's been getting close there if not over with those guys in. So I like the 22 and a half PRA for Vassell. Hopefully Popovich don't play some weird guys tonight who we've never seen. And um, cause I'll probably be going with the over on Lonnie Walker and Vassell just because of the, the situation that's going on. But it could be a blowout and Popovich could play a bunch of nobodies. He, he does stuff like that. And I just think it's time for him to hang it up Duncan Robinson, if it becomes a blowout, <clears throat> definitely going over 12 and a half PRA. This guy's streaky. And when I say streaky, I don't mean the good way. Like, he has some of the worst games I've ever seen in my life from an NBA player. Chaponte Green for Chicago, 14 and a half PRA. It's dropped. It's normally at 16 and a half, sometimes 17 and a half. Um, since Zach Levine came back, he hasn't really been doing what he was doing when Zach Levine was out. But I think he can still hit this mark. Like I said, it's going to be a close game. Um, it's going to be a good game. Could go into OT. You know, I think it's going to be one of those games. You got Javante Green over a half of three. And he's only made one. That self is playing toward Sire Williams over 12 and a half PRA. I may take this one. Like I said, it's going to be. That's going to be a good game, Memphis versus Chicago. Zaire Williams over 12 and a half PRA. Seth Curry over 20 and a half PRA. Kyrie back. Maybe he can get Curry some good looks. Maybe Curry can drop 12 to 15 points. You know, maybe get two or three rebounds, two or three assists. That's all it's going to take, you know, to hit that. So 20 and a half is looking good for a starting shooting guard, whether it becomes a blowout or not. Only way Seth Curry doesn't hit his mark on PRA is if it's a blowout, which it probably will be, but if it's a blowout and the coach decides to sit him down, Steve Nash decides to sit him down for like the fourth quarter, 
Monte Morris over 21 and a half. PRA point guard for Denver. Going to Sacramento. They got some different firepower. Um, before the trade deadline, I don't think this team with just Halliburton would have been able to keep up with Denver. I got Monte Morris over one and a half threes. He went over it last game. He actually had three threes. We only need him to hit two this game against the same team. Self-explanatory. Like I said, it should be a better game. You learn from your mistakes. The three guys I'm missing, got to take the over on 10 and a half rebounds for Jared Allen. Steven Adams, nine and a half rebounds. Going against Vucevic, um, three-point big man who shoots, you know, doesn't do most of his work in the paint, but he can. He can work in that paint and get rebounds. So I like the over on 10 and a half for Vucevic, but you have to pick your poison. Maybe one doesn't get there. Maybe one does. I'm taking the guy gets paid, get, makes his living off of rebounding and defending. Steven Adams, I like the over on nine and a half. I also like the over on 10 and a half of Vucevic, but it could become a blowout, but Bam could hit 10 and a half rebounds easily. If he plays, I mean, Deadman may come back tonight. He's a game time decision against the Brooklyn Nets. So, like I said, it could be a blowout. Could be where the game where Giannis has to play 35, 37 minutes. Um, and then in that case, he gets there. You got to beat out Bobby Porter's, Andre Drummond. They're going to be in there. They can't really do anything with Giannis. So, they're going to have to be, they're going to have to foul. So, I like the overall seven and a half free throw. Gordon should go over just like he did last game with the adjustments made. He may get seven, eight rebounds this game. We got Jokic over eight and a half assists. We got Jokic over 58 fantasy points. And one and a half threes made. He went over 65 fantasy points last game against the same team. He's going to do it again tonight. We got Bogdan Bogdanovic, over 15 and a half points off the bench. He's coming off the bench. Over two and a half threes made off the bench. But with DeAndre, if DeAndre Hunter, he's game time decision. If he's ruled out, this is a lot for me. But if he's ruled in, I still like it. But it's not a lot, if that makes any sense. 